Hello everyone this is Kavya from Manifold AI learning So now if you are a devops engineer you already have many of the skills needed for mlops but the question is how do you bridge this gap that is how do you go from deploying the applications to deploying the machine learning models So in this video I will show you exactly as how to transition from devops to mlops by following the very simple steps even if you have no previous experience with machine learning So guys let's start with mastering the roadmap See the good news is you don't have to start from the scratch you already have a very strong foundation So let's break down the transition into simple actionable steps Starting with the step 1 that is understanding the core differences. So when I say as devops it actually focuses on the software deployment and infrastructure. But when we talk about the mlops it's actually little complicated. It focuses on deploying and maintaining the machine learning models. In MLOps you will come across the additional concepts like data pipelines model versioning monitoring model drift and retraining workflows As you can clearly see MLOps is an advanced devops for machine learning projects Okay Now I feel that you are clear with the differences let's move on to the step 2 that is leverage your existing devops skills So from DevOps you are already familiar with the concepts like CI CD pipelines correct now in MLOps we apply the same concepts for applying the automation to ML models then we have that kubernetes and containers in MLOps we actually apply the same concepts for scalable deployment of models that is ML models correct then moving ahead we have cloud and infrastructure as code So in MLOps we use the same concepts for creating the infrastructure for ML model training and deployment. And lastly, we have got monitoring and logging. So the same principles of monitoring and logging is applicable in MLOps with additional concepts like tracking model drift and accuracy. As you can clearly see that most of your core skills is actually used as a strong foundation for MLOps which actually gives you an edge when you're planning for transition. And as I mentioned earlier that you also need to pick up some of the MLOps specific skills. So, let's start with the important skills to learn for this. First is machine learning basics. It's impossible guys it's impossible for you to move to MLOps if you do not have the foundational knowledge so your first focus would be like understanding the ML concepts and also about how the models are trained okay and also understand all the steps that is required for training the ML models so that you can effectively work with the pipelines and then you need to master the data engineering and feature pipelines See here this data processing and the transformation step is little critical for ML models because model is only as good as the data it has been trained on Once the ML models are trained then comes the important step that is model deployment and scaling In order to perform the efficient deployment and scaling having the knowledge of tools like SageMaker MLflow TensorFlow Serving and Vertex AI will be very much helpful So in MLOps there is one important step which is unique to machine learning that is experiment tracking and versioning yes that is experiment tracking and versioning See the machine learning models are created based on the experimentation which is like trial and error way to find the pattern It's very much important to have the knowledge of working with MLflow, DVC and Kubeflow to manage ML experiments in an efficient manner. And lastly, we have model monitoring. Yes. Here you need to understand as how to track the model drift, concept drift and also to ensure that the model performs over time. And now coming to the next and important step that is hands-on learning and project. So here is a simple path for this. Take an intro to ML course to grasp the fundamental concepts 
and then build and deploy a simple ML model using Docker, Kubernetes and CI/CD pipelines. And after that, work on end-to-end -end MLOps project using cloud platforms like AWS, GCP or Azure. And then comes contribution. Yes, contribute to open source MLOps projects and then showcase your work on GitHub. Guys, apply for the MLOps roles by emphasizing your transferable skills in DevOps and new MLOps capabilities. Additionally, you can also explore the silver membership at Manifold AI Learning if you are looking for the structured learning path achievable in 90 days. Okay, so now let's pause for a second. You might be thinking like, this is very much overwhelming. I don't know the data science or the machine learning. Can I really make this transition? Let me tell you something very much important here. Yes, yes, you can and you must. See, MLOps is not just for the machine learning experts. It's for the engineers who can automate, deploy and manage AI powered applications as well. The demand for the MLOps engineers is skyrocketing and the companies need professionals like you. You have already built the resilient CI CD pipelines, managed cloud infrastructure, and also automated deployments. Now it's time to apply those some principles to machine learning models. So let me tell you a secret here. Just take it step by step. Don't try to learn everything at once. Focus on one skill at a time. Practice hands-on and build the real projects. That's how. Yes, that's how you make this transition a success. Guys, that's what has helped hundreds of learners at Manifold AI Learning. Now imagine this, you are not just a DevOps engineer anymore. You are working on AI-driven projects, deploying cutting-edge models and leading the way in MLOps. So with the companies investing heavily in AI, your transition to MLOps will open up massive career growth opportunities and you're already more than halfway there, correct? So what are next steps? Simple, start your MLOps learning journey today. Join a community to take one step at a time in your MLOps journey with free weekly workshops and daily learning. Please do check out the resources in the description to kickstart your transition. If you are a DevOps engineer, let me know what's your biggest challenge in moving to MLOps. Okay? And guys, you know the drill. Please do subscribe for more learning. And this is Kavya Jamadagni signing off and I'll see you next time.